Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we talk about the joys of stock market investing. My name is Steve. And uh, if it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit the subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, guys. Um, I'm going to talk about something that's a serious subject. and uh, But I mean, it's something that needs to be addressed. I'm just going to get my thoughts on it. I don't mean no disrespect to anybody. You know, it's just my opinion. And uh, we'll talk about it. But what I want to talk about today is uh, the article about what, what a situation about the war in Ukraine and the Twitter battle between Elon Musk and the president of Ukraine and stuff like that. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit about it where, like in case you guys haven't, you know, just bring you up to speed. Tesla owns SpaceX, as we all know. SpaceX has a Starlink satellite system. Now, with the Starlink satellite system, they have these things called terminals. And these terminals, they come in a box, a nice size box, and basically you can get internet access anywhere around the world where there's no, ac no access to internet by linking in, by hooking up these little mini satellite dishes called terminals from SpaceX. You put them on the ground point them up in the sky and you get the internet access from the Starlink satellites that are put up there by SpaceX. Now, we all know we have a war in Ukraine between Ukraine and Russia. The war has been progressing slowly. All of a sudden, a couple months ago, the thing picked up and everybody was like, you know, wondering why. That's because part of it was, you know, the resilience of the Ukrainians fighting back, you know, which is good. And also, you know, aid from other countries, mainly, you know, the U.S. And, you know, with the help of this Starlink satellite, it set it up real, real good where they could retaliate quicker. And, you know, they have these satellites, terminals in the uh, field now. So I think it's like 20,000, 20,000 different satellite terminals that they took over there for them to fight. And how it helps them is it aids in their drain, their uh, drone footage, the feeds for the drone footage, them communicating with each other, and the artillery strikes from various vehicles, you know, that they're getting from other countries and in addition to their own. Now, what's crazy is Ukraine doesn't really have internet access like that due to the war and the destruction that's over there. So... What Elon did was he volunteered to aid and assist the people of Ukraine, which is a good thing, you know, in them assisting the fight and, you know, ways the ties of the war. And, and that's a noble thing. But uh, what's been going on is last month, Elon sent a message to the Pentagon saying that, look, we can't keep funding this, you know, war without some type of money out of it you know we can't do this for free because you know we, we're using terminals and the terminals can be used somewhere else we can't just give the stuff away we're not in the business to give things away free basically saying you know hey this is a business you know we can't just give our services away now he also said that, <laughs> you know they're not gonna be able to keep doing this for long you know so Pentagon, you're going to have to like kick some money out and, you know, fund it, you know. But the thing that's cool is he said, look, we don't even want the money for the expenses of what we've used so far. We don't want any of that back. We just want y'all to either chip in and find another way to get Internet access over there or, you know, pay us for the service because it is a service. It's not free. And this is why I say this is a kind of a touchy subject because, you know, war is an not a good thing and a lot of people are dying in this conflict and you know to make light of it you know in a cheerful way is not good and i'm not making light of it. i'm just it just shocked me that the story was you know it just sounds funny like the u.s government is like okay yeah you, you want to do that yeah go ahead and do that. that thanks that's an expensive thing you know setting up satellites and using your own stuff you know because i mean he didn't develop that for the situation that is at hand and it's an unfortunate situation but um 
you know, to ask the man to just volunteer because everything costs money like that. You know, his time and services, because you don't know how long this conflict is going to go. And then there's another part that's into it where he said, pay me four hundred million dollars a year, you know, and that's how much that's what he says it's going to cost a year. But one thing is cool that I feel he's not asking for the money back for what was used already and what he's. Uh, done is changing the tides of war and everybody sees it now this is the part i think is kind of shady once you've seen that your technology was taken off you know and then you and the you know y'all had a twitter battle you and uh Zelensky, the president and i think his minister of defense or somebody you know all of a sudden you write the letter like all this popping up now because y'all had a beef on the thing you know and it's kind of like it's kind of funny. And then it's like, kind of like, you know, all of a sudden you're asking for money. And, but I mean, I don't know the situation and you know how the media is things get presented to you in a certain way to make you think a certain way. But I mean, looking at it from an outside standpoint, it's helping Ukraine fight for their uh, independence and, you know, getting a part of their country and stuff back. It's a good thing. But being at the government is, you know, you got, you know, he can't keep that up. That's not even the basis of what his business is about, you know. So, I mean, as far as some type of a uh, resolution, I think they'll come up with some resolution. You know, is Elon being childish about it? I don't think he is, you know, especially when, you know, we in the situation we're in right now. And it's recorded that the U.S. is sending billions of dollars of aid to all these different places around the world you know, $400 million, you know, to further fund helping the country with his independence. I mean, and what he's doing is something that's real instrumental. It's, it's a no brainer to even pay, you know, or come up with some other uh, type of alternative way where they can get internet access links and stuff like that. Now, was this a strike against Ukraine? No. No, what I think they're doing is a noble thing, man. They're fighting for the independence. There's some countries that won't even do that. You know what I mean? And I hope they, I hope they, uh, you know, solve this resolution as quick as possible and everything go back to normal. But, you know, things are what they are, such as life. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see what happens, man. I mean, I know a little bit about the story from the little bit of limited stuff I've seen, you know, on the internet. But, um, who do you side with, man? Leave me, a, leave me a comment. I mean, this really didn't have anything to do with stock or anything like that, but it was just something I figured I'd talk about. Because, I mean, it's an interesting dynamic, you know? You got your, you got your uh, business over here, and you helping the government, and, you know, you need some type of, uh, you know, you're, you're using your resources. You know, when your business wasn't built for that, and everything costs. So it's not personal. It's just business. And this is one of them dynamics, guys, where... You see, you actually see that it's nothing personal. It's business. The man's running the business. That stuff costs, you know, because SpaceX get in trouble financially or nothing. You don't know if the government going to bail you out. And he might be thinking about that. Like, look, dude, I'm helping y'all, you know. So, but yeah, man, leave me a comment, man. Tell me what you think about that. You know, you think uh, Elon is right about asking for money to help them? Or do you think like, you know, he should keep his mouth shut and keep going? Or, I mean, how, how do you feel about the situation that the government would allow him to do that without no type of, uh, you know, reimbursement or like offering him something for helping him in a national in, in a national crisis somewhere else or a worldwide crisis? You know, so but um, <clears throat> yeah, guys, I just want to talk a little bit about that. And uh, it was just strange that it, it, that something like that came out in the media and it made Elon Musk look like a douchebag. I'm just being honest with you. But um, yeah, guys, um, that's it, man. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.